I just want to drink the beer. I want to drink the beer. Mark, I've got one for you today. Uh, this is going to be a real treat. This is Prize Brewings Outside the Grid. This is a Stroopwafel pastry stout. And you and I, we love our pastry stouts. This one is a really, really interesting one. Grabbing the superpowers here. So, it is. It says on the can, seduce yourself with the flavors of traditional Stroopwafel. Travel deep into the dark, nutty, caramely pastry stout with a lingering hint of wafer. Now, one of the neat things about this is as you look in the back, I'm going to take some of the uh, shine off of it. You can see that it's kind of got this uh, Myers-Briggs thing going on here about how the, fla how the flavors are going to come through. Um, I think that's really an interesting way of doing things. Uh, in, in this particular one, the, uh, the caramely, nutty... Uh, cookie flavors are all going to come you know, to the fore, but the uh, toasty, bitter, and chocolatey flavors, yeah, not so much. This is a 8.2%, uh, and this is apparently a pint. So uh, I'm a huge Stroopwafel fan. One of my favorite things in the morning, Stroopwafel, that's warmed over a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> Let's crack it, eh? Give her a good pour. I'm gonna be a little less kind to this pour. I think I wanna get some of that. I wanna get some of that carbonation out of there. And the glass won't quite fit at all. No, that's okay. Nice head, very light brown head to it. And if I hold it up to the light here, you can see that it is completely dark as we'd want a pastry stout to be. Um, let's stick a nose in it. Caramel immediately. Uh, which I'd expect. Bit of cookie. The the two together are coming into a chocolatey note. I realize that the profile didn't say it, but that's the nose. It's not the it's not the flavor on the mouth. But there's a bit of dark malt to it, which is really good in any stout, I think. And uh, all right. Yeah, okay, now it's kind of opening up a little bit, getting a lot more of that open cookie kind of uh, scent coming up. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Smooth, very uh, sweet, not cloying at all. It's not overly done. Beautifully balanced with some of that uh, that caramel, that cookies right there. You know, a lot of time we talk about that shortbread flavor, that's there. Um, and the two of them are just right together. Uh, so to full disclosure, this doesn't taste like a Stroopwafel. It has caramel and it has a cookie to it, which yeah, you'd think so, but there's, there's a bit of a yeastiness to it and a tackiness that comes along with a Stroopwafel. That's not in the flavor here. But I'll tell you, there's been a lot of pastry stouts out there, and I've tried, well, we've tried quite a few. This is the first time that I've had something that I thought, yeah, pastry. The end note is a little tiny bit of bitterness to it. But this does that beautiful balance between a straight stout and a sweet pastry stout. It doesn't taste like dessert, but it tastes uh, beautiful. I really like this. I'm going back in for another taste. Oh yeah, uh, I am. I'm glad this comes in four packs, because <laughs> I don't want to just have one of these uh, in the course of the next month or so. Uh, don't think it's a high enough ABV to age. I don't think that's going to help it at all. But I really do like this, and it's the carbonation in it is neat. The head just keeps kind of going. I don't know if you, how well you can see that, <laughs> but it's just like this whole thing is just vibrant, and exceptionally enjoyable. So that is the Outside the Grid, uh, a uh, Stroopwafel pastry stout from uh, Pires, 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 I wish I could pronounce these names, uh, <laughs> brewery up in uh, the cities. And uh, I, 
yeah, this is a go-to. This is this is great. I hope they keep making it. Hope this isn't just a, a limited time kind of thing. Um, their website doesn't give any kind of indication of that. So maybe this is just an ongoing uh, beer for them. Really like it. So there you go, my friend. Hope you're doing well. And I look forward to seeing you again. And until then, drink good beers. Hey, if you're not Mark and you're watching this, thanks. I'd love to have you along. Drink with us. Uh, meet, meet us up on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget that we have a YouTube channel. And um, no, you knew that because we did this. Why am I promoting it here? <laughs> you're on the YouTube channel. We have a podcast. Go to the podcast. It's cool. Drifflesdrinks.com. You'll like it. I know you will. And we really want you to listen. Because you're awesome.